Take a look at this. Scout ship setting sail. That Rokuro, always telling all of us except Eleanor to work harder. Doesn't he realize that I'm a delicate maiden too? This is workplace discrimination. I should put him on a witch trial and burn him at the stake! I don't think that's how witch trials work. <laughs> What's wrong, Eleanor? You look like you've got something on your mind. I'm just trying to figure out what Rokuro was thinking. When I had Lord Shigure at the end of my spear, Rokuro threw his dagger right at my head. I thought I was dead for sure. I feel like I saw who he truly was, and it frightens me. But he and Lord Shigure are always trying to kill each other. I can't understand why he did what he did. It might have something to do with his Bushido code. What's Bushido? Is that like a sword fighter's code? It's a way of thinking. Be loyal to your lord. Respect your parents. Protect the weak and act with honor. You're saying that he was following this Bushido code. And he was protecting me because I was weak? He might have turned into a demon. But his memories and personality are still intact. I doubt his moral values have disappeared either. Do you really think he believes in that Bushido stuff? Carving through his enemies with a cruel and unsparing sword! Slash! Pow! Shazam! That's the true nature of a Rangetsu man! I heard that when Velvet first met him, he immediately attacked her without any provocation. I'm sure you haven't already forgotten how he turned his swords on the kid in that fight against Kurogane. I wouldn't read too much into what Magilu's saying. Rokuro lives for his sword, and that's just who he is. But I don't think he's all that bad. I thought you were the one who called him frightening. I know I said he can be a scary person, but... How do I put it? I do feel there's more to him than just wanting to cut people up. It's like... He's more sensitive to other people's emotions than he might seem to be at first glance. A sword fighter has to sense his opponents on some level, right? For a crazed demon, he's actually a nice guy. Is that it? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like I know him well enough to claim any deep personal insight or anything. You brought it up. A bit ago, a manacled body got caught in my nets. Manacled? A prisoner? You too? Yesterday, my nets pulled up an arm. Manacles, even a brand on that one. I really can't take this anymore. I'm losing my appetite, and it's bad for my heart. You said it. Judging by the tides, they would have to have come from that prison island. Is it really just a prison? You think it's strange, too? I've suspected something about that place for a while now. They say the whole island is a prison, but if you ask me, I bet it's just an execution ground. Or it's for experimenting on demons. Experimenting? What do you mean? Testing the demons' capabilities. That's why they need prisoners. Food for the monsters. Not a bad theory. <laughs> just kidding! There's no way the Abbey would do something that horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sure think of some crazy ideas. I bet all of this is the work of some vicious pirate gang. Yeah, something like that. That guy, he's pretty sharp. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any patrol ships around there recently. Used to be they'd chase you off if you got too close. You know you're right. If there are pirates about, it'll mean trouble unless the Abbey tightens up their patrols. The best we can do is keep a wide berth of it for now. We wouldn't want pirates and demons sneaking up on us. I think we'd notice if pirates or demons were around. No way they'd catch us unawares. I can't tell if he's sharp or dull as a brick.
That's an interesting bridge. This bridge has a bit of history to it. Port Renid was originally built here on this inlet. The water's deep enough for ships, but as you can see, it's a bit too narrow for a port. Large ships couldn't come close without a top-rate crew. So Port Renid was used almost exclusively by smaller ships. What about the Von Eltia? We're the best of the best. We came and went as we pleased. So your point is you wanted to brag? Hey, let me finish. The people wanted their town to grow, so they built an outer harbor for large ships and this bridge to connect to it. Uh-huh. So that's why the port and the town are separate. But there's more. We secretly helped provide the funds and resources for them to build it. So you are bragging. And did this bridge bring prosperity to Port Renid? No. The Abbey began regulating shipping and travel right about the time the town finished building the outer port. If only the seas had remained free, Port Renid would have developed into a center for commerce and trade. I suppose things don't always go as planned. Then again, even if Port Renid became a bustling port, we still would have no trouble slipping in or out. I'm not biting this time. When I was in Port Zexen, I heard that a swarm of demons attacked the palace and killed the High Priest. No way! Isn't the palace the most heavily guarded place in the world? How did the exorcist let that happen? Hmm, bad news really does travel fast. They say that the demons were disguised as humans, but were actually enormous monsters twice the size of any man. They had razor-sharp horns and three burning eyes. They could take over your mind just by glaring at you. If the demons were that terrible, no wonder the exorcist couldn't deal with them. Some rumors say they escaped. Some say a legate took them down in a climactic battle. But no one knows the truth. We should be ready to run in case they show up. Is the world falling apart? Will the bad times return again? A horned giant with three eyes, huh? Velvet, you're one scary lady. They said swarm, so they were talking about you too. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's just not possible. But the High Priest hasn't been seen since then. How do you explain that? I heard some people from the capital say that he might have been attacked by demons. The Abbey's trying to cover it up, but the truth is getting out. The security at the palace is better than anywhere else. Demons breaking in? Inconceivable. But what if a whole horde assailed the castle? The exorcists guarding the palace are elite. The best of the best. Horde or not, they couldn't have gotten in. But what if they were some sort of giant demons? No matter how elite the guards may be, they'd have trouble against something like that. If giant demons appeared in the capital, there'd be an uproar. I understand your concerns, but please remain calm and trust us. Panic and confusion is just what the demons want. They'll use it to slip into this very town. Well, we know that, but still. It looks like rumors from the capital are spreading. The more chaos there is here, the easier it'll be for us to move around.
Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair's Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's Curse, eh? Uh... Well, I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, it might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. Dad, I can't take it anymore. I can't deal with life in this village. There you go, with the whining again. Those two... they seem to be rather upset. Best stay out of it! They're going at it hammer and tongs! The phrase is hammer and tongs. I'm not whining. It's been ten years and the village is no better off than when we started. Every year it gets colder, and every year our harvest gets worse. And the risk of demon blight hasn't gone away. Your point? Compared to other regions, Westgand has fewer cases of demon blight. Other areas are suffering worse from the cold and the demons. I'd say we're better off here than anywhere else. You're saying we're lucky that all we have to worry about is cultivating this inhospitable land? Don't be so impatient. We'll see results. Westgand has incredible potential. If we keep working this land, eventually it will become a prosperous place. Maybe not now, but in a hundred years or a thousand, our descendants will have joy and plenty. That's enough for me. There you go again. Who cares about ancestors? I'm talking about... Good man, your words have moved me. As an exorcist, I promise to work my hardest to end the demon blight and help people like you find security. Oh, thank you for your kind words, young exorcist. Then I have a request. How about you start helping by marrying this fool son of mine? What? Ever since his lover gave him the slip, he's been whining like this nonstop. I'm... Very sorry, but that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. The Demon of Warg Forest? Yeah, I heard about it. 
It's been the talk of the town round here lately. My guess is it's some kind of invisible demon. Scary, right? An invisible demon? A bunch of exorcists got together to hunt the demon, but they couldn't find it. If it's not invisible, then maybe it's so fast they couldn't see it, or too small for them to notice. What kind of watch are they keeping on the forest now? Shouldn't you know? You're an exorcist too, right? Yes, but my duties take me from place to place, and I don't know the details of the demon hunts in this area. I see. I don't really know the details myself either, but I hear the exorcists are patrolling in shifts. Interesting. It sounds like they still might not have a good lead on what this demon is. Please hurry. Find that demon and get rid of it. We won't feel safe until it's gone. You have my word. We'll do everything we can. We're here to find Salitoma. Sorry, but we don't have time to go demon hunting. I know. They were nothing. <laughs> 
Take a look at this. Scout ship setting sail. <laughs> 